नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल एंड बिलीव मी यू दिस इज अ वेरी फायरी एपिसोड एपीआई असिस्टेंट पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर हु इज वन स्टेप अबाउ द सब इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ पुलिस व्हिच इज द एंट्री लेवल ऑफिसर एंट्री लेवल ऑफ द पुलिस फोर्स इन महाराष्ट्र इज सस्पेंडेड बिकॉज there was a custodial death under his watch custodial death of a person called khwaja yunus khwaja yunus was accused of a bomb blast in ghatkopar there was a custodial death under him he was suspended and he was suspended in 2004 and in 2007 this api resigned he resigned from force his resignation was not accepted and he is still stayed suspended in the meantime there are allegations that he started a lot of companies he joined a political party and the political party he joined was shiva sena he joined shiva sena he was a member of shiva sena and he continued interestingly 2020 shiva sena came into power and this politician this politician the police turned politician was turned back into police and shiva sena and the police force said that listen you know we need people so the people who were suspended during the khwaja yunus case were all brought in back this gentleman was brought back to the police force he was reinstated as a api assistant police inspector people say people say that this assistant police inspector had tremendous clout in fact he was one of the most important police officers in mumbai police and he had direct access to the chambers of uh, the commissioner of police so on and so forth but these were rumors on saturday last this police officer were, was arrested by nia the national intelligence agency and yesterday that is thursday the police commissioner was transferred the home minister made a statement the home minister made a statement that the transfer was not an administration transfer it was a transfer so that the nia can have a fair investigation so therefore he was transferred and a new police officer in fact the the, the acting dgp of maharashtra was was made into the police commissioner of mumbai a couple of questions question number 1 a person who was suspended a person who resigned a person who joined a political party was brought back into the police force after 17 years who is responsible which system are we following for whose benefit was he brought into the police force can the police force be played around like this at will number 2 the rumors that he could walk into and walk in and walk out of the police commissioner's office a api could walk in and walk out of police commissioner's office whereas or an api there is a there is an inspector there is a senior inspector there is an assistant commissioner of police there is a deputy commissioner of police there is an additional cp there is a joint cp and then there is a cp and this api could walk into the police commissioner's office at will and nobody questioned him how could it happen and last question is yesterday they transferred the police officer fair what about the politicians the politicians in who ensured that he came back to the force the politicians who appointed that because the politicians here appoint the politicians in india appoint all commissioners all police officers nowadays even to the police station level our appointments are done by the politicians so when there is a problem the politician stands out and says baba he gets transferred shouldn't the politicians be held responsible this time gelatin sticks it was not an explosive maybe but gelatin sticks were kept under mr mukesh ambani's house what if mukesh ambani is not safe in mumbai who is and shouldn't therefore even the politicians be asked questions even the politician should be held responsible एक पुलिस को ट्रांसफर कर दिया एक पुलिस कमिश्नर को ट्रांसफर कर दिया थिंग्स आर ओवर ओके आई आज दीज क्वेश्चन टू मिस्टर डी शिवानंदन फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पुलिस एंड ही हेज समर्स टू कीप मी हेयर दिस इंटरव्यू आउट एंड जज फॉर योर सेल्फ
सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग सर टेल मी इन योर करियर एज अ एज अ टॉप कॉप हैव यू एवर हर्ड अ इंसिडेंट वेर अ पुलिसमैन वॉज सस्पेंडेड फॉर कस्टोडियल डेथ इन 2007, the police officer resigns and joins a particular party, political party. Then, in 2020, 21, the political party comes in power, and then reinstates the police officer who was suspended for custodial death, who resigned from the police force, is reinstated, saying that the the force needs people, and therefore this person has to come back. Have you ever heard this in your career? No. Uh, uh, Sujit, my answer to you, your elaborated question. Answer is no. Is the short answer I can give you, but I can tell you about the rule in the police manual that every unit head, like superintendent of police or the commissioner of police, is supposed to do a periodic review of all the suspended police officers and see whether they should be continued in this suspension or they should be taken back. Because no police officer can be suspended for twenty years and thirty years. Because the government is supposed to pay him ninety-five percent of salary after a certain period of time, and there are restrictions that they can't do business, they can't do political uh, activity, and various other things. And all these rules are uh, followed in breach. So in this particular case, what you have asked me, the answer is no, emphatic no. This can't be done. But I would like, to, but I would like to, I would, I would like to elaborate. That in 2007, when this gentleman offered to resign, why it was not accepted and closed? That time, this political party may not have been in power. Then who is responsible for that lapse? That his uh, resignation was not accepted, and the chapter should have been closed. Instead of that, that is kept alive. Now, who is responsible for that? So that has to be answered by somebody. The other question I would like to ask is: When this review took place and you took more hands, how many more hands have they taken? Have you have you have they taken hundred or two hundred or three hundred hands? No, very limited review and very limited number of people. So that is not also doesn't sound very appropriate to me. Why was there no action taken on a person who was accused of custodial death, who was accused of killing, accused? I'm using the word accused of killing uh, 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 another accused, uh, uh, Khwaja Yunus, in custody, and nothing ha actually happened. There was no uh, uh, steps taken. There was no punishment meted out. It, he was just in suspension. It is, it what, is, it is, is not there? correct, uh, uh, Sujit. I want to disagree with your questioning. Because that alleged custodial death, a murder case was registered. After all, hue and cry, all inquiries were done, and more than twelve people or seventeen people were taken to task, and the murder trial is still pending. And the very same officer about whom we are talking is pending. He is facing a murder trial, and it is pending. And because of the judicial system, that these cases are not disposed early, he is uh, facing a murder trial. So your question that nothing was said about it is not appropriate. Is not correct. There was a murder case registered. No, sir. Murder. It a murder case was registered, and there, from two thousand. No, please. There was a murder please. case registered. Sorry, sorry. And they were all suspended. They were all kept at home. Beyond this, what else can be done? Without the until 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 the murder case is proved, no um, other action can be taken. They have been suspended, and he is facing trial. That's about it. Sir, you are saying from 2004 to 2020, this man is facing trial. In the meantime, there are allegations that he has started companies. In the meantime, there are allegations that he has a Mercedes Benz of his own, uh, API, and we are still saying that he is under trial and the trial is going on. Therefore, you know, we are, we are the, the 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 department has done their job. I disagree. Sir, isn't I it? Is this? I disagree. I disagree. With your complete proposition, and completely, I disagree with you, Sujit. You asked me that besides suspension, nothing else was done. I told you that yes, everything, whatever is legally to be done, was done, and there was a murder case registered, and he is facing trial, and he is under suspension. Now you are bringing the Mercedes Benz and his business as a 
for hindsight knowledge now after this incident when he was under suspension and when he was facing the trial all these things never came into the fore because he was not taken back into the police force and he has not committed any other uh, uh, sin as he has committed now so your questioning is not appropriate my answer to your question was after the kaja yunus uh, alleged uh, custodial death nothing happened to him that is not correct a murder case was registered and he is facing trial now you can't bring your hindsight knowledge and say that he has mercedes benz and businesses and all all that have come now not in 2007 or 2004 or whenever it was he did business and he did um, have all these cars but those things have come after this um, uh, antilia incident now that nia investigating and cars are coming everything is coming to the fore and the commissioner of the police in mumbai and various others are not going to conduct investigation against all the suspended officers as to what they are doing and what cars they are owning so so sir the point is then that somebody who has who was alleged for committing a murder in custody okay of a accused okay he is suspended and the fact that in suspension uh, hindsight knowledge may be but the fact remains that in suspension he leads a normal life he uh, goes and uh, 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 joins a political party he becomes a member of the political party which was known to all in 2007 he officially joined the, the shiva sena which was known to all this happens he's uh, you know his 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 progress and his uh, prosperity was also more or less known to all in the system sir uh, is that fair i'm 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 forget about whether the police department had jumped up something or not as a human being as a citizen of this country i ask you is that fair there is nothing fair or unfair about that if that man is been suspended for 16 years and he is doing all these things beyond the suspending and facing a murder trial what other thing you can do contact rule is violated as per the contact rule a suspended officer cannot join political party or he cannot start business and things like that without the permission of the government and he has violated the contact rule but that does not become an offense if you are going to register a crime and hang him for that he has violated the contact rule but he is already facing a murder trial now you can suddenly say that you should have done this and that and all lot of police officers serving police officers have left one day and later joined the um, political parties and become members of parliament and uh, ministers of the government what why are you not taking any action against them and uh, any officer i am not i am not justifying such a bage by any chance but with the proposition the questioning you are doing is not appropriate so i am telling you what is the rule and what is the law and what is the procedure 16 years this guy was under suspension and what he was doing was wrong i agree there nobody is justifying i am not justifying but what he was violating was the contact uh, rules that he can't do business he can't join political party but serving officers have joined political party and they are issuing uh, those uh, principles of the political parties the next day they resign and go and join and all that what about that law rule and law that we speak about should be uniform for everybody right all, so, I, 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 never uh, i never justify i never justify yeah. what he correct. did what he did correct. is wrong correct what, correct what he did is wrong correct so so correct sir the same uh, custodial death there was another ips officer in gujarat uh, who went through the same custodial death and who was accused of the same custodial death and he is behind bars for i think 36 years sir how come rules are different for one person in gujarat and another person in maharashtra come on sujit you can't ask questions like this i don't like the way you are asking me questions he is behind whatever number of years after a judicial trial and here judicial trial has not taken place you can't compare oranges and apples and ask questions as to why they are not facing the same in gujarat case if the trial has been over and he has been convicted that is a judicial process complete where is your this man is pending trial so you are we are comparing oranges and apples so the fact remains that sir so just because there is no judicial trial for this gentleman uh, he was he was he was leading his life and uh, now we even like you rightly said in the hind side we come to know that he was leading a prosperous life so you fe- you feel that uh, you know that's the way it is right no is that i'm not justifying anything like that i am explaining how the rule contact rules work i am not justifying what he okay. has done or what he has what should have been done okay if the man is of integrity and character and follows rules regulations laws and if he is a iconic uh, uh, man of good conduct he wouldn't have done that earlier offense
The very fact that he violated the rule is why he has been suspended and he is facing a murder trial. And once he has gone off the track, all other misconduct, like conducting a, a business and uh, buying cars and various other things, come easy to him. The, the police commissioner was uh, transferred. Now, yesterday the home minister said it was not an administrative transfer. Sir, why was the police commissioner transferred? I can't say if it was not an administrative it, transfer. But I will again quote the same uh, home minister. He said, for a fair investigation of all these matters, we have transferred the police commissioner. That is what Mr. Anil Deshmukh said. I heard it in the TV. I am repeating it like a parrot. Sir, so that means he believes that if the police commissioner, if the if the former police commissioner, Mr. Parambir Singh, is on the chair, he will hinder a fair uh, uh, investigation? That you have to ask Mr. Anil Deshmukh, take him on the line and ask him that because he came up with this explanation when everybody else would have interpreted it in a different way. He interpreted that this is not a routine transfer, but we transferred him so that the NIA and all other agencies can do a very free and fair investigation. I am repeating what he said, uh, um, uh, Sujit. I am not giving my own original answer. Does that mean that he feels that if Parambir Singh was the commissioner, Parambir Singh would would uh, uh, hinder the process of investigation? That, was that what you know, he meant? That, Analysis. That, that, uh, that interpretation of what Mr. Anil Deshmukh said can be interpreted by you in one way, I on one way. I don't think that is uh, not appropriate because Mr. Anil Deshmukh is available for you to go and grill him as to what did you mean, what did you mean and all that kind of a thing. You and me discussing about Mr. Anil Deshmukh's uh, justification, right or wrong, uh, is not uh, appropriate because I can't interpret what Mr. Anil Deshmukh had said or intended. These are all political people. Political people have come up with all sorts of things. They, you can question him. And in the capacity of the Home Minister, you will ask him separately. I, as a retired police officer, I cannot be interpreting a political statement by a politician and a Home Minister. Uh, you've been the, uh, the CP Mumbai. You've been the Director General of Police Maharashtra. Sir, I'm asking you as per your experience. Sir, do you think a API, Assistant Police inspector could do what he did, what uh, 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 Vase allegedly did, allegedly did. Do you think an uh, officer of his uh, 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 level could allegedly do what he did without the knowledge of the commissioner of police? The answer is no. The answer is no. So you 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 feel that the commissioner of police definitely well, was in the no, know. No, I, 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 I am not saying the uh, commissioner of police is in the know. I am saying uh, the rank of an assistant police inspector has multiple other ranks above him. There is a senior inspector. There is an assistant commissioner of police. Then a uh, uh, deputy commissioner of police, additional commissioner of police, joint commissioner of police, and then the commissioner of police. So, your question that the CP is in the know, I can't directly answer and say yes or no, because an API, I'm only explaining to you, an API is just above a PSI. PSI is the beginning, it's the very lowest level of the inspector, and then there he is there, whatever he is acting has to be done as per the supervision and as per the police manual, investigation manual and so many other controlling manuals which you have, under that he is supposed to report to a hierarchy that is what I am answering to you. So the fact remains that what you are telling me is that he definitely has to answer to an hierarchy and if whatever has happened, it is the hierarchy has to know. Is, 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 would that be fair for me to say sir? Yes, yes, absolutely right. Okay, sir, tell me in that case, there was, there are talks. There are talks, there are there are uh, uh, statements made by a lot of uh, former police officers that are or, or even current police officers in in ISO, in private that uh, uh, Vaze had a direct access to the commissioner of police, mm. direct access. There are talks that has made that, you know, he could uh, he could walk into the police commissioner's office at will. Sir, first of all, my question is, does uh, 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 API get that kind of access to a police commissioner's office? You know, all APIs do not have any access to the police commissioner's uh, chamber like that. 
but in this case if like you have heard i have also heard that he had direct access to the police commissioner and that could end in a disaster when the hierarchy is broken the chain of command is broken and the direct access is given it can end a disaster and this is an exact example of a disaster a disaster has happened if that is the direct link he had and all other chain of command people were kept away from the picture a disaster is a result and what we are discussing is a disaster so i am now going back to my earlier question sir the fact that api uh, waze had direct access to the to the commissioner of police mumbai and the fact that he com he went and allegedly committed the kind of uh, uh, things that he did near uh, 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 mr mukesh ambani's house which means that to assume therefore by by sheer uh, uh, logic that the commissioner of police was in loop of what he was doing should not be completely out of the uh, logical uh, framework can it suji we are discussing a case in the middle of a hot pursuit of an investigation by a reputed agency called national investigation agency and they have not finished their job so by the end of the uh, um, uh, investigation who all they have now touched and what all they would have done what all evidence they would uh, bring to the table is anybody's guess so we are discussing now everything every one hour or every one day or every one new briefing can throw new light about what happened and what all has uh, transpired in this case so if they investigate the linkages and if they find out evidence anything can happen nothing can be precluded in our discussion in the middle of a not a trial but a investigation there are so many opportunities so many openings are there available for the nia to investigate and they are doing a good job and they would not leave any uh, stone unturned in unearthing this particular crime i'm sorry there was a small technical glitch we had to cut in the middle and we are back again sir we are back and now you are with your headphones very good sir uh, let's move ahead let's move ahead let me ask you a very direct question sir as a senior officer as one of the most respected ips officers in maharashtra do you think parambir singh was an apt choice for police commissioner mumbai these are uh, again hindsight uh, knowledge uh, uh, answer i can give you now that there so many controversies have been uh, uh, we have faced so many controversies so many controversies in such a short time so i could hazard a guess and say that they could have had a better choice but the question is did they have any better choice so that is for the political uh, people to give an answer there is a procedure there is a way this uh, uh, three uh, party government has to adjust with each other and select a person suitable for such a job so i would say yes there could, there could have been a better person but then did they have that choice that answer has to come from the political uh, parties which we have chosen him sir isn't it unfortunate that political dispensations and political convenience choose police officers police department people who are supposed to protect the city people who are supposed to protect me and you common people these decisions are taken by these elected representative and most most uh, uh, often than not these decisions are taken for their benefit and not for the citizens benefit would you agree if i say this sir first time during our chat in this uh, time you have asked a question which is very fair and just okay this is the first <laughs> question you have asked me which is fair on the uh, level playing field i want to say yes the political parties are interfering 100% in the police administration and they have gone down to the police station level appointing the police station officers and super and so police and various others and that is where precisely the police reforms which we have been talking about uh, has to be discussed and that have been implemented and the police reforms have been begging for attention ever since independence we got a same police force which robert peel had made in 1722 or uh, 1862 and then we are obeying the same orders which had come from the british uh, uh, rulers 
so the police remained a force which would be obeying the ruling uh, government's orders or ruling party's order as we have interpreted now so the loyalty to the constitution and the people and all that has not been ingrained in the blood in the dna of the police people today so the poli politicians over uh, last 76 years after independence have also deteriorated in quality and because of that, this kind of a direct interference and all the deterioration all over the country. It is not that you are discussing only the Mumbai police. What happened in Bihar or UP or uh, any other Delhi police, JNU, we discussed about CAA and JNU and various other things. So if the deterioration is uh, the same all over the country. But then that brings us to the very vital question of police reforms. Can we find a way of insulating the police from the political interference? That answer has to come from the public and the elected representatives and others. Unfortunately, we have come to a stage where unless the police is under the thumb of the politicians, they draw no power. They, they have not been they have, Look at the, all the elections happening, how the officers are all tossed and uh, transferred and things like that. So if that is the kind of a situation, I will say the police reforms have to be implemented as early as possible and the police has to be insulated. Even the cases which we are discussing, all the three cases have to be taken away from the political uh, supervision now and given to some authority which will be absolutely judicious in supervising all the investigation so that this political party's interest or the other political party's interest is not catered to by the investigation agencies. Absolutely. We as a channel, I as a human being have been constantly advocating and people who see my uh, uh, editorial, see my programs, I will vouch for it that I've been constantly advocating police reforms. Police reforms of 2006 will is the solution for all these problems. Completely agree to you, sir. So there, there, I think, yeah, we, we completely agree to each other. Sir, my next question then would be, sir, when a minister interferes in a police transfer, when the politician interferes in a police appointment, when a politician takes call on who gets appointed where, shouldn't he also be responsible when such an issue happens? Why should the responsibility only stop at the at the uh, police uh, top cop level? Why shouldn't the responsibility go right up? Because he took the decision to put the person there, isn't it? I fully agree. The political accountability is a separate process which will happen in the parliament or some legislative assembly or anything like that. But the NIA or the ATS or anybody cannot investigate the criminal culpability of the Home Minister who appointed the Commissioner of Police one year before. So the crime is separate. The agencies are investigating only a crime. Who committed it? Even today, we don't know who committed the murder of uh, Hiren. Uh, so we, we, don't, we can't bring the political uh, appointment and the various things in, in one in the same discussion. We can't bring them. So that is uh, the opposition party leader. He is taking up all those issues and uh, in the assembly and outside the assembly, he is uh, uh, holding them uh, responsible for that. Shouldn't illustrious officers like you, Julio Ribeiro, and 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 so many other officers, A. and Roy, so many other officers who have done, who have been fabulous, who who made Mumbai Police what Mumbai Police is, shouldn't you all be now uh, putting your foot down and asking for a systemic change? You know, we are asking, but they are all falling into deaf ears. We 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 do ask for uh, uh, the systems to come in uh, uh, place by uh, filing uh, the writ petition in the High Court when something went wrong. But uh, talking to the uh, Home Minister the other day when he had met us, they knew very well that uh, this is the man who will serve my purpose. They brought him and overlooked all the rules and they fell into, into a disastrous situation. They don't need my advice or Mr. Ribero's advice or Mr. A. N. Roy's advice. The very same Mumbai police is one of the finest polices even today. If leaders are failing, that's a pity. If the leader, or the, the, let us say, the political party, uh, I mean, the minister and the commissioner and various others are not up to it. If they are not, you know, uh, fit enough to be leaders of a finest force in the country, if not in the world, it's a pity. I want to put it on record, whether you show this or edit it, I don't know. But I want to put it on record that this is the finest force even today. 
only the leadership has to be befitting that selection has to be done by the ruling party and i hope they will not indulge in what they have indulged earlier and bring disastrous uh, leaders thus a police force gets demoralized i completely agree to you sir i am as proud as you are you of course worked in the mumbai police force but i am as proud of mumbai police as much as you are and i also completely agree that in the last few years in the last few years the leadership has really embarrassed the force i think that is where we will agree uh, and uh, that is where we can call it a day so thank you so much sir thank you so much for being in my program thank you thank you sujit i enjoy being with you always thank you thank you have a great day you too bye